Do you want to know how to install and play God of War 1 on the best settings? On the highest FPS possible? And on the sharpest graphics as your PC can handle? Psst, it shouldn't look like this. Today, I will show you a complete guide from A to Z how to get it. Let's go straight to the video. First, open your browser and type here RPCs3. Go to the first link to the official RPCs3 site and download Windows version. Then open EXE file. In this window, you can create a desktop shortcut if you need it, and also you can set here dark mode. If you don't want your eyes to burn when launching RPCs 3 every time, then accept that you have read a quick start guide, which I know that everybody is reading. Then, this error will pop out. To fix it, click Windows plus R, and type here percent temp percent, and click OK. Now search for the folder with the name you saw in the RPCs 3 error. Once you located it, move him wherever you want. I will drag him to the desktop. Yeah, also make sure that you have enough disk space. Now if you want, you can create a desktop shortcut because the previous one from the installation won't work anymore. Now RPCs 3 should be running with no problem. Now type in Google PS3 update and go to the official PlayStation site. Scroll down to update using computer and download PS3 update. The download should now start if it doesn't, and you have an error like this. Click on those three little dots and select Keep. When the download is done, drag it to the desktop and go back to RPCS3. Go to File tab and click Install Firmware and look for your file. Now, depending on your computer and disk speed, wait a while until the download is complete. Now, restart RPCS3 to check if it has been installed correctly. If you see this, that means that everything is okay. Now you are ready to install any game to RPCs 3. Unfortunately, after my last adventure with God of War 2 video, when I got a second warning on my channel, I can't provide you with any information about installing God of War 1. To make sure that this video doesn't get deleted too, I just must do that. I'm very sorry if this disappointed you. Let's go to the video right after the installation. After you somehow manage to get these files, open RPCs 3. Go again to File tab and choose Install Packages, and look for your first file. Then click Yes, and wait a moment. You can now create a desktop shortcut for God of War. When you will now try to open it, you won't be able to. To fix it, go back to File, and choose your second file. You should now see this in RPCs 3 log. Now open it to check if everything is working. It should load to the menu without any crashes. As you can see, my game works just fine. Later in this video, I will show you how to get rid of these black borders. Now you should see here God of War game. And as you can see, there is a new version available. Just for you, I checked if there are any differences. And basically the game was running the same. But then I realized that 1.01 version have one very important thing, that 1.0 do not. Basically what I mean is that on 1.01 version you have a patch that allows you to skip intro when launching the game. It may seem useless, but it saves around 20 seconds every time, so I think that it's a good deal. To update the game to 1.01 version, go to this site and type here God of War HD. Then look for the exact version of God of War that you have and just click it. Then move it wherever you want, go back to RPCS3, go to File tab, and install it. This is basically the same as before. Now you have 1.01 version. Then right-click on God of War and select Manage Game Patches. You will here be asked for Patches Update. Always click Yes, because otherwise you won't see here anything. Now you may be wondering what every patch is doing, and of course I tested every single one. Let's start from the top, so 4x3 aspect ratio makes your game stretched and kind of weird in main menu. So, I wouldn't recommend that. Next is skipping cutscenes. I assume that you know what this is doing. Then, true widescreen. What it does is actually improving your game's field of view. So, you see more. Just by enabling it, I will now show you how it works without BS. So, this is what you see on default setting. 
And now here's what you see with this patch enabled. There are uh, little problems in main menu, but actually I... It doesn't really matter because you don't see it in the gameplay. So what I would recommend is just enabling these two, and remember to always click apply and save. If you want a graphics like this, watch exactly this part of video. Right click on Go 1, and select Create Custom Configuration, and just copy my settings to your RPCs 3. This setting is one of the most important, because it is what makes the game significantly sharper. I suggest setting it to up to 300%, because above it there is not really a huge difference. If you are having some problems with GAO 1, or the game is lagging, here are more optimized settings. If your PC is a complete potato, here are the settings for the best performance. If you are still not satisfied from your FPS, change this to Mega. And if your game is not really stable, or you are getting crashes, change this to higher values. Remember to click Apply and Save. If you want to play using keyboard, go to Pads. You can here bind every button from your keyboard to make it work in RPCs 3. If you want, you can copy my settings, these are the best for me. You can also play using PlayStation controllers and joysticks, but I've never tested that, so I don't know if they really work. If you want to check what every button is doing, you can check it here. Remember to click save at the end. Now you can finally play God of War. To full screen, just click Alt plus Enter, or just double click on the screen. To get rid of these black borders, go to settings and enable full screen. So, yeah, I think that this is it. Thank you guys for watching. This is probably the last video from installing God of War, because I realized that these videos are very similar to each other, and I don't really show you anything new. Have a wonderful day, and see you next time. Bye. endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness.